Zim Integrated Shipping is a company that many of you have been suggesting to me in 2022 because the stock gained so much and it was also paying a huge dividend. I decided to look at it. In October of 2022, I even made a video. I will never forget that date was the 10th of October 2022. I just purchased the video and minutes later, I got the call that my father passed away. So never forget it. But I said in that video that I will not invest in Zim Shipping. It was the right choice at the time because you look at the stock price of Zim Shipping, it had fallen after that video and it kept falling. But later in 2023, I invested in Zim Shipping. And at some point it kept crashing and I kept investing. But now in ju just two months, it gained over 120%. So there is the possibility that Zim Shipping undergoes a short squeeze. That's not the reason why I invested. So today we are going to look at Zim Shipping why I invested in the company in the first place, why I refused to invest in 2022, and now what's next for the stock. So first let's understand what is Zim Shipping. This is a shipping company. There are many of them all around the world. The most famous one would be Myers. It's one of the largest. So what do these companies do? Is that they transport containers around the world. Of course, Zim Shipping is more focused on containers, on shipping itself, compared to Myers, which is bigger, which have investments in ports, they have their own logistics, so they are much bigger. In 2021, 2022, after the pandemic, there were so many supply gap issues, as you all know. We all remember that there was high inflation and shipping prices went up. The demand for goods to be transported was high after the pandemic, but the supply to transport these goods was not here to meet the demand. So there was a supply chain issues. Did I say supply gap issues? There was a supply chain issues. This caused shipping prices to skyrocket. The stock price of all the major companies, shipping companies went up, including Zim Shipping, but it is one of the smallest one. Of course, it gained much more. They were paying a huge dividend. Investors liked that a lot. Since they are a smaller company compared to my air, so far they are going to profit more because if they add one more ship to their business, it means a lot for them. But if my ask adds one more ship, it does not mean that much to them. And also because of the way that Zim Shipping is structured as opposed to Myers. Myers owns many of their ships, but Zim Shipping, most of their ship that they are managing, they just manage it. They are not owned, it's just leased. The advantage of leasing instead of owning is that they can navigate short-term uncertainties faster. Because if let's say there is an oversupply, they know that they have leased these ships, they are going to reduce their lease. They're not going to lease that many anymore because there is already an oversupply. But they, if they own the ship, they cannot really do anything about it. They have to maintain the ship even if they are not using it. But I did not want to invest in Zim shipping because it was overvalued. Because also shipping prices was at the peak and eventually of course it was going to go down. Which happened. Shipping prices went down. The stock price of Zim shipping crashed by over 90%. And I made the right choice not to invest in the company. Then I ordered something on Amazon and it took less than a week to come. And for something to go from the United States to come to Mauritius in less than a week, it means the issues that we had in supply chain has been solved. And I decided to look at the shipping companies again. I look at Zim Shipping, I look at my areas, I look at all of them. You can find everything on my research platform. This is where all my analyses are. By the way, the research platform is going to change very soon. And it's going to be more than just a research platform. I'm building a new business around it. It's not really around it. The research platform will be part of that business. More on that very soon. But just to tell you, I have a research platform today where I share all my analysis, all my research. You also have an investing course for beginners available there. If you're interested, please, you can have a free trial. So I look at all these companies and I decided to invest in Zim, Shipping and Myers. Both of them were undervalued. So why both of them? Zim Shipping was undervalued the most compared to Myers. So I wanted some stability in my portfolio. So I invested in both of them. But later when Myers reported earnings, they were not so good and I reanalyzed the company. I saw that I made a mistake. I should have focused instead on Zim. So I sold my shares of Myers with a little loss. Nothing to worry about that. And I invested more in Zim Shipping. And then there were the terrorist attacks on Israel on the 7th of October. And Zim Shipping is a company which is uh, headquartered in Israel. So the stock price crashed. Investors were scared of the situation there and they started selling shares of Israeli companies. But later the conflict went beyond Israel. It went to the whole Red Sea. 
Now there are issues in the Red Sea, there are issues in the Panama Canal, and shipping prices are going higher again. It has not reached the price of 2021, but still shipping prices are going higher. And of course, over the long term, if this continues, this is going to profit Zim Shipping and all the other companies, but Zim Shipping, because they are smaller, they have an advantage over my ears. So it was the right choice to sell my ears and invest in Zim Shipping instead. Something else regarding Zim is that the stock, 27% of the float, is short. Many people have been shorting the stock because they expected shipping prices to keep dropping and that the stock price will keep going down, so they were shorting the stock. And when the attacks happened, they shorted the stock even further because maybe they were expecting that the economy of Israel was going to be destabilized or something. They shorted the stock even further. And now all these people that have been shorting the stock, they are losing money because the stock price is going up. So is there the possibility of a short squeeze? Yes, a high probability of a short squeeze because many of these shorts have to cover. As far as uh, the geopolitical concerns that many people have, Zim Shipping is actually protected. In many ways, it is an Israeli company by the Israeli government. In many ways, it is protected. They have insurances that if their ships are destroyed by terrorists, they are going to be paid for it. But everything here is secondary. The main reason why I invested in Zim Shipping was because over the long term, I expected that we'll see higher prices for shipping. They were at the same level as 2019. So I was expecting that maybe we'll see higher prices, not the level of 2021, 2022. I did not know that there was going to be war. I did not know that prices, shipping prices would go up. Nobody can predict these things, but it just happened. So I invested in a company based on its fundamentals. The fundamentals were really good. They had a good balance sheet. They don't have that much debt because they lease most of their ships. Of course, their lease liabilities were quite big. But I still invested in the company and they intend to return most of cash flows to shareholders. So I, that's why I invested in Zim. Now we have this scenario that maybe there's going to be a short squeeze. We don't know how long this war is going to continue. We don't know if it, will, it is going to get worse, if the US is going to get involved, they're already involved. Nobody knows anything about these things and we should not be investing because of this. We invest because of the fundamentals. The short squeeze, if it happens, it is a good bonus. But it teaches you something, that you have to be a contrarian in the market. In 2021, everyone was looking at Zip and did not invest in it. It was going up and up and up. I did not invest in it. In 2022, the price started going down. People asked me to look at it again. I did not invest because here there were two voices. The loudest one was to short the company, but there was also a voice that it's time to invest because eventually it will recover. But when we came to 2023, the voice saying that it's time to invest in sim shipping was not here anymore. It was only a few people telling this because those that were investing in 2022, they lost 90% of their investments. They already capitulated. So for you to win in the market, you have to be a contrarian and it is hard because I was down on Zim shipping at some point, but I kept investing, I'm up. I don't know what is going to happen. It's a long-term investment, maybe I'll be down again, but it should not be worrying to me. Another company I have in my portfolio is Stellantis. I will recommend you watch this video about Stellantis. Have a nice day and goodbye.